Today I have something a little bit more special because there's a template, a new template release today. Now I'm gonna present it to you. I'm gonna show you why it's different from some of the other ones that I've released. Without further ado, get this sucker going. <laughs> We're just gonna be risque. We're gonna risk it, risk it all. This template is called Ultimate Octatrack Template 2FF. This template forgoes the loopers. This template is just for effects and sample playback. What's new about it is that I added eight effects that aren't available in my previous template. I left uh, two free scenes on every part in the Octatrack. So let me just tell you how the template works in general in case you're brand new to this concept. The way that I formulated these templates is that I've separated the drum side and the melody side. You can have a plethora of devices, tons of them, chain them together, run them into a mixer on this side and vice versa on this side. And what we do is we process the drum separately from the melody side so that we can have effects that make sense in that regard. Having effects that just completely affect your entire mix are not always the most tasteful effects. Some of them are really great. Don't get me wrong. There's lots of great entire mix effects. There's plenty of entire mix effects in this template. But what makes it unique by splitting those two elements is that you can do things that make more sense on a drum bus. There's also a compressor on the input on both of these tracks so that you can adjust them for your buses separately. And you just program them by holding down the step on the track and adjusting your compressor here. And it will program that into the pattern so you can do it on a per pattern basis. This is all stuff that I went into deep, deep detail in the Ultimate Octatrack effects template video that's already released. So if you want to know more about all that stuff and how all of these effects sound and work, that's going to be the video you want to watch. I'm going to have a little bit of music going. I'm going to show off some of the new effects that are in it. And then we're going to talk about how you load samples and how you route the audio so that you can use sample tracks and process them through the effects track. All right, here we go. So the new effects in this template start with uh, scene 13. It's kind of like the acid delay scene. This is one that you would do very slowly. I call it deep delay. The next effect is called reverb transition. There's two of these new transitions in here. So this will drone out. You could change sounds on here because it's being looped in uh, with the freeze delays with some reverb on it. And it's just meant to just be this thing where like the song kind of ended, but it hasn't truly ended. Um, and you can do all sorts of stuff. We could add some new elements in here. We could take some elements out, take the chord out here. All right, brought a new sound in. It's like the car just ran right off the side of the road. And now let's take those sounds out. There you go. Bam. All right, that's how that effect works. So that is deep delay and the last one is reverb transition. Now we can go to part two. We have reverb transition two. You can hear the automation. It's doing some filtering. It's clocked over four bars. The next effect is called Gallop Delay. You can hear why. <laughs> Super stupid, I know. Another transitional effect. Moving on to part three, we have Crunchy Drummer. This is an effect from my old template that I brought back. Next one is called Boomerang Riser. So I'm gonna wait till it gets to the one so that we can do this effectively. Here we go. Bring those hats back. Now to part four. Part four has um, 
Part 4 had a lot of sample buffer effects, so I had to add even more effects on Part 4, so there's actually 10 more effects. What I did is I have two scenes that are going to filter just the drum input. So this first one is just a high pass of the left side. So the synth side keeps playing. This is why you separate these two elements. I'm able to high pass the drums and still keep this not high passed. And this next one is a smile pass, which is a, you know, a frequency um, emphasis at the low end and a frequency emphasis at the high end with a dip in the center. Now the two new effects, I wouldn't really consider those ones effects so much, they're just filters. We have the uh, runway looper. You can hear this bit reduction. Makes the drums really pop. Also depends on how, how you have your compressor set up. All right, and the last one is Easy Drummer 3. So another Easy Drummer. Here it comes. Those are the new effects in the Octatrack template. This template you can find on my Patreon. Let me tell you how this is gonna function. How do we use sample tracks with these through machines? This is all being processed through a through machine into a neighbor track, into a neighbor track, a through machine into a neighbor track, into a neighbor track. Everything about that is very deliberate. We have a compressor into a freeze delay, into a filter, into a classic delay, into a just whatever effect you'd want in serial there, so a chorus, a flanger, a lo-fi, whatever, into a reverb, and typically that would have been a looper. And it's the same on this side, same idea. So two different buses, then they have six stereo uh, serial effects. You might see that these, these are blinking. That's because they're cued. So to use this template, you have to know a few things that you maybe don't know about your Octatrack quite yet, if you're new to your Octatrack. These two tracks, these sample tracks, are now gonna be routed to your Q output. They're gonna be routed to your Q output and your main output unless you do one of two things. You have two options here, and I'm gonna show you what they are. So one of the things you'll have to do is either select an, a, a setting called Q mutes track. What happens when you select the setting Q mutes track is that if you cue a track, it's going to mute the track. So it's not gonna send that audio through its main outs any longer. It's gonna go just out the Q output. Go into system, personalize, and there it is, cue mutes track, and just hit yes right there, and bam, that's all you gotta do. Cue mutes track and cue these two tracks. And then from this point on, you can sample onto these tracks. All your inputs are being taken, so you're gonna wanna sample through these inputs regardless. So you're probably gonna sample through your digitact, sample through your digitone, or through your syntact into your octatrack. This one's set up to sample through this input, so through C and D, and this one's set up to sample through A and B. It's very simple, just classic Octatrack sampling. If you know how to sample in the Octatrack, it's not gonna be a problem for you, you're just gonna do some sampling. And then that's it, you'll have playback of those samples. But to have them be processed through the effects in the template, you actually have to take this outgoing audio and route it back in through one of these machines. Take your cue outs and run them into one of your machines. And that's really all you have to do. Now the other way of getting audio through your cue outs without doing the cue mutes track, I'm gonna show you really quick, is uh, you can go into your system settings and go to control and go into audio. And what you do is you set your cue config to studio. When your cue config is set to studio, when you hold cue on a track, you can adjust the level of the cue output. So what you would do is you would take track four you turn the cue output to 127 and track eight, make sure the cue is at 127, and then you turn their track level all the way down. And this is the same as cue mutes track. The problem is, is that all of these tracks by default are going out that cue output. So what you'll have to do is go in, hold cue, and turn the cue off on every single track. That's why the cue mutes track is just a faster method than this. And that covers it. You just load your samples into your project. These settings are set up across all banks and all patterns. It's ready to go. As you can see, the template works. You could load a sample into it just to uh, just to make sure. Let's let me save it as a save to new. Yeah, we'll just call it funky, 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 funky. 
So this is a great way to start a project if you have a bunch of external gear, but you also want to have some stereo sampling. Like for instance, if you're sampling this amazing MPE Groovebox synthesizer, this is a great way to get stereo back into your mix. If you've been using my setup, stereo samples isn't a thing. Oh yeah, they're going out the Q output right now. Okay, we'll take this sound. I've now replaced the recording buffer with this sound. And there is a playback trigger. I left a playback trigger in the town. I don't, it doesn't matter, but there's a playback trigger on these tracks on every bank and every pattern. So just be aware of that. I do need to route this audio into my Digitact. Could actually take the headphone out. There's another way that you can do like send effects and stuff is using the headphone out. So I just plugged a stereo cable into the headphone out and that's already running into my Digitact. And I'm just gonna make sure that my Digitact's input mixer is turned up and I'm gonna go into my mix settings and make sure my headphones is receiving the Q output specifically. So now I'm running these out into the Digitect. There it is. This sound is now being processed by my effects. So we now have sample playback that is going through the performance template. So now I could write music on my Octatrack with my template. For instance, we'll put some stupid stuff down. You don't have to use the Q outputs. You can use the headphone out like I just did. If you use the headphone output, you can actually dial in how loud these tracks are with your headphone jack, which is also kind of weird. So maybe you don't want to do that. It's in the wrong part there. skip to the end because we've heard this before. That's right, the Octatrack had actually stopped all the audio there. Thank you very much. If you'd like to support me, join patreon.com slash easybot. You want to get my templates, you can join the Patreon, the Discord subscription, and or you can buy them on coffee.com slash easybot. You could also just say really nice things in the comments. Thanks, Matt. Appreciate your work. Um, that music sounded okay. 
to my ears. Bye-bye.